and we're back for more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Today we are going to help our rival. Well, that helping our rival's a little weird, but we are going to help our rival catch his first Pokemon. I believe this is, you know, a tricky way of getting the game to show you how to catch a Pokemon. And then hopefully after this annoying process is over we will make some progress in the game. Hopefully we can get through Pedalberg Woods in a short enough amount of time and possibly be ready to face the gym next episode. Yesterday when I recorded the other video I looked up how to catch some of the Pokemon that I'm planning on using on my team and two of the possible Pokemon have some annoying rarities. Those Pokemon being Bagon, which is deep in the Meteor Falls. Not sure how deep into Meteor Falls I'll be able to get when I get to that point. And the other Pokemon being Snowrunt, who has a rarity of few in Shoal Cave. So I may have to do a few more unethical things to catch those members of my team if I continue on with the mega idea. Okay, so while he caught his Pokemon, our dad's telling us to go to Rustboro City and saying we should go after the gyms and that we'll face him later. And that's just what we're going to go do right now. We're going to head towards... Oh! This... Excuse me, let me guess. From the way you're dressed, are you a Pokemon trainer? Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. I don't remember that, but let's head on out. Let's avoid the tall grass. I'm sure this guy's a trainer. And we'll fight some trainers, try to get through Petalburg Woods, Zigzagoon, and I'm going to be using Kakuna. I feel like right now Kakuna's a bit more useful than Zigzagoon, or than Mudkip, being that I am have the ability to poison. So nothing interesting has happened today so far. Yesterday was the Smash Brothers Direct where we got the announcement of plenty of new features of the game and that we will be getting Mewtwo in spring of next year. Hopefully along with Mewtwo we'll get some more characters, possibly some more stages because, well, I wouldn't want the only DLC of the game to be Mewtwo. And I know those people that wanted Ridley can still hold out hope that he may become playable instead of just the boss that he is right now. I personally would like to see a playable Ridley. I would also like to see 
King K. Rule, but besides those two, I'm not too concerned by who we may or may not get in the game. I would like to see Roy return from Fire Emblem if we're going to get more returning characters. Okay, so Kakuna grew to level 8. We do need to get Mudkip up some levels. So let's... Oh, well Mudkip's level 8 as well, so... We'll fight this guy and then I'll check next next to him and see if that other person's a trainer as well. Magikarp level 9. He'll only have Splash, so we're just going to hope for some poison to make this battle a little bit quicker. And I'll speed it up, I guess. Okay, we got the poison. And he's down. 37 experience. Magikarps are free experience, but not very much experience. And this guy talks about the bottom of the sea. I know we have a somewhat tough trainer coming up. A rich boy who will use full restore when his Pokemon gets low health. So we may have to fast forward that battle a bit as well. Oh, well. I remember it being a rich boy in Ruby and Sapphire. Must not have played too much Emerald, because now it's a lady. And she did use Tail Whip. She's doing five points of damage. And she used full restore, of course. So I got to poison it a good time after she used the full restore. We're gonna go with mud slap, see what mud slap can do. And Zigzagoon is down. Both Kakuna and Mudkip get some experience, but neither of them get levels. And now we're going to head into the Pelberg Woods. I'm going to speed through this trainer for sure. hard switch out here so Kakuna can get the experience to level 9 and then I'll let Mudkip finish off the rest of these Wurmples that we're in the generation where Tackle can miss. Wild Battle. Let's just run from that. Paralyze Heal. Let's see if we have any potions. We have Orin Berry. I will give Orenberry to Kakuna. I know we have a Team Somebody battle. Being that it's Pokemon Emerald, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's Team Aqua though. This guy's looking for Shroomish. Team Aqua member. We're gonna speed up just a bit get through this battle. He's got a Poochie and a 
the sand attack. We got the Warrenberry. He does four damage to me, but he's poisoned now. So that should be the end of this battle. You're kidding me, you're tough. And he tells me they're after something in Rustboro City. And this guy gives me a great ball. Not too useful at the moment. This guy is going to run away, not get his shroomish. He's pretty much telling me things I already know. And another bug catcher. Let's play the fast forward game. He has Ninkata. That's new. That's something we haven't seen yet. Could definitely use poison on this. Okay, we're going to switch out to Mudkip. I don't know if Mud Slap's the best move to use, except that I'll lower his accuracy. This is going to be a very annoying battle. Of course, even with his accuracy drops, he still hits Leech Life fairly often. Switch it up to Tackle. I miss, he misses, I miss, he uses Harden. He hits me with Leech Life, a critical hit Leech Life, and I get a critical hit tackle. Let's see. Staying with Mudkip. Go bag, use the Orenberry on Mudkip. get whatever damage off we can get before Mudkip goes down unless he continues to use Harden. Mudkip grew to level 10, Mudkip learned Water Gun. I don't think there's any more trainer battles. Oh, there's at least one more trainer battle over there. I believe there's a double battle ready for me. But I do believe we can get the TM or a potion. I must have bullet seed TM in here. No, we're not going to learn about berries. Warren Berry. And we'll talk to Whale Pale. Okay. Apparently I lied and made stuff up. So let's not check tag. Let's use the Orenberry on Kakuna. Let's use another Orenberry on Kakuna. And let's go to bag and use potion on uh, Mudkip. And no, this is a trainer. Rich Boy Winston with the Zigzagoon, okay. And Cocoon is useless. Oh, 
but we took out the zigzagoon. Another Pokemon, another trainer battle. Kakuna would actually be useful here, but we have no PP for Poison Sting, so we're just going to have to power through it with Mudkip. And we're going to have to hope this Shroomish doesn't have Absorb, which it does have, but it doesn't do too much. And apparently I like using Tackle more than Absorb. Yes, there's a double battle. I could use ether. Okay, we're gonna end it here. I don't wanna lose. And I don't wanna attempt to battle them with one useful Pokemon, so I'll heal up off screen and be here for the next video.